We are in the middle of day 12. Hello. We've got Steve and Sam, or as they're more famously known, Stam, right? Steve Manta. Steve Manta. Yeah, that's better. And here's the gorgeous me. Coming straight from Egypt. Um, we're going to go check out what's going on today. And uh, that's really about it. Let's have some company. So I heard that people have been, uh, when they see one of these uh, big trash bins over here, apparently the neighborhood just goes crazy. And uh, I found out the reason the cops have followed me home twice when I've been here super late at night is because people have been coming late at night and yesterday during the day and just dumping like rocks in there and like sofas and stuff. And we got to pay for the ton. So that's not cool. But now you know that that's a problem you may face if you were getting a big ass dumpster to uh, put stuff in. Other people apparently love dumpsters. I don't know, maybe it's a chick magnet. Maybe we should do more dumpsters, bro. I don't know. Find a dumpster baby. Dumpster baby. <laughs> nice. What's up, gentlemen? Hi. <laughs> wow, look at this wall. Wow, look at all this. Tile! Oh, they ripped off the carpet off. That's what it was. I was yeah, like, what? I was like, what is different? That is crazy. <laughs> Professor Mitch, how you doing? You all right? Getting, getting you this. I don't know if you're interested or not, but these people have stopped by, you know, about security and right. this other guy. Can we trust, like, a independent security? I have no idea. Thing? I'm just telling you the guy yeah. stopped by, you know. Okay, great. Oh, this guy, he sells credit card machines. Oh. I didn't know if y'all would have Yeah, any. yeah. Uh, That's actually something. He said, you know, there's three people. No contracts, and so that's what these others yeah. are security people. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, that's up to you to do with as you wish. <laughs> I did my part, I told you about it. Yeah, definitely. Is there anything going on that I need to be brought up to speed over? Just, um, I discovered that up here the tile has already been taken up. What do you mean? The, 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 Oh, and replaced? This is the new style tile. Right. And it's not asbestos. Okay. And when they put this down, they took that up, but they left the black glue. Well, oh, okay. Well, you can right. see right over here. So, and that's a good thing because this is not the dangerous stuff to take up. Okay. But we still have to deal with the glue. We still don't have a uh, we still don't have a quote on any of. Yeah, the I talked. I got a quote from that one guy, but Clay gave me the name of another guy, and he's going to meet me in the morning. And we're going to get some prices. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't going to just give it to one guy. Right, right. But right. I didn't. I didn't know anybody, and the guy that I knew, I just we ended up on the same job together. I did not hire him, but right. he was the only guy that I knew. But Clay said he knows several guys, so we'll get several quotes on. Him. The biggest uh, problem, like I've heard from uh, Joseph or Clay, was that if we do just choose to leave it and build on top of it, that having something that will adhere to it well over a long period of time is going to be difficult. So well, I don't, I don't know what to think. See, that's I've talked to my flooring guy today. You can see they glued it. I, they didn't even well here. See, they didn't even put any other glue that I can see. They, I don't know if when they took this stuff up before, right. it was still somewhat sticky. So they just put it on that. So you see a little bit of this is coming up with it, but there's no other adhesive right. that I can see. Right. Unless, I don't know, I can't tell that there's used any more adhesive. No, I, I took that up with my finger, so it's not stuck very well. Okay. But this has had carpet over Maybe it. Maybe you got really strong fingers. No. <laughs> but I mean, you can see, this is all you have to do to get it up. See? 
Wow. So it's not stuck that way. Okay. But it's been stuck good enough. Okay. But um, my carpet guy says, he called the factory rep and he said, no, you need to get this uh, really? as much as you can. And then they put a film of a border base stuff, just like a skim coat. But we have to fix stuff like this anyway, see? Right. So we'll skim this whole floor and that'll give it a new surface to bond to. Okay. Because he said, if we stick to this and it comes up, it's us. You see? They're not, nobody's going to warrant it. Right. Whether, whether it's carpet or the VCT. Right. So, and if you tried to glue on top of this, if that turned loose, then everything you put on top right. of it is going to turn loose. So is there a possibility we may end up just <laughs> concrete floors if, like, if you want to? It's all right. But Clay, I think Clay's recommendation is, why well, he told your mom, said, look, you own the building. You might as well do this now. Because one point he made is, say we put the walls in, and then five or six years from now you want to change things, but wherever you take the, old, the new walls up, you still got this to deal with, you know, in that right. area. So you might as well just do it now and be done with it. Right. Are they still going to have to bring in a mobile unit, mobilization unit, and all that I, jazz? I think some of that's overkill in that world. Right. right. I mean, they have to go through the procedure, you know, and put on their little show. That's what I call right. it. It's all for show more than anything. The main thing is you just have to put all this stuff in plastic bags and wrap it up and take it to a special disposal place. You know? All right. Because you don't want the workers in here, you know, without a mask on. Right. The little fibers are in there. When you break it, that opens the fiber back. Right. So, so we'll have prices soon, and then we can make a decision based yeah. on those prices. I haven't grown any money yet, so I told her we'll sit down and talk Joseph and she and I and maybe even Clay tomorrow. Awesome. Come up. Yeah, sometime. she let me know you all talked about some things today that I came in the other day to speak to you about, so I'm glad you I'm went sorry over I that. The phone. It's well, a okay. And uh, I, everything I've like searched as far as like putting in new word floors with like this type of square footage has been at least around 10 G's. Does that sound accurate? I don't know. I'd have to get the guy to quote it. Okay. I mean, it'd be great if it would be less because, uh, again, our initial plan was to go with the concrete floors, but now I'm almost like, yeah, wood would be nice too. Um, but, you know, I mean... You guys knew that this kind of floor was here when you bought the building, right? We didn't know it was asbestos. Did you not? No. I, I felt like Joseph would have kind of had a contingency plan or had some sort of a small allotment of money for that. Right. Well, when we got in the contract to buy the building, it was one of those as is. You yeah. just have, we're not changing anything. See, the dead giveaway is that nine-inch square tile. They don't use that anymore. Uh, Anytime you see that, okay. that's just a red flag that it is asbestos. Okay. That's for future reference. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Mitch. By the way, this is Samantha, my, Hi, Samantha. my friend and Steve's girl. Yeah, we met Samantha. Okay. Samantha Mitch. So in future, you, Jason. some of your friends just, hey, you say, hey, I tell you right now, that's asbestos. Right, know? yeah, that's good to I know. know what Thank I'm you. talking about. <laughs> Trust me, it's as best. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, dude. <laughs> oh, um, well, I mean, seems like we're just going to end up dealing with it anyway. So I look forward to seeing what the quotes are going to be. But, see, from now instead of being from there to there, it's only here that's the asbestos right. tile. But, like I say, we still have to deal with the glue under this. Right. But Wow. That's still yeah, wet. That's going to be, the, the tile's not the worst part, it's the yeast in right? That's what I can't make from. Yes. And this guy, Lee, the guy that I've worked with, he said he's done a lot of cooper green, and they have a solvent you know, that dissolves this stuff, but he said it's very strong. So that being a closed environment, they can't do that in that hospital. So they've been gluing back down on top of that up because he said he'll let them build and then he comes, you know, the flooring's the last thing. They come in and take the floor up and the next day they put a new floor back down so that's not exposed. Right. See, we could come in and take the tile up but then 
you can't leave that exposed. Right. Because every time you get the floor to clean up, you sweep up some of that. Right. So that's why he said, you know, if you leave this down and go ahead and build, and then do it last, you only have a two or three day open time. Right. So it's better to, to do it like that. But it seems to me like it would be more efficient to do it now yeah, while yeah, all the walls are on here. Because he won't have to work around walls and stuff. Yeah, especially the walls that we got going on. Yeah. Eight inches, it's not just... Fourteen. Right. Eight to fourteen. Eight to fourteen. Yeah. So I, I, I'm really of the opinion that we bite the bullet and let him come in here, whoever gives us the best price, let them come in while everything's open and just take it up and get the glue up and be done. Because see, we can, they got open air in here. Right. Students aren't going to kill anybody in here. So we should know in like what, next 48 hours? A couple of days. I, I think we need, they want to get several prices. All right. Can I ask you a future question? What's that? We were talking about um, how steel beams are the best for what we're working with for as far as sound enforcement. Like and within the sound reinforced yeah, walls? Yeah, the studs mm -hmm. and the walls. Obviously these are aluminum. No, they're, they're steel. Those are steel, okay. Yeah, they're galvanized steel. I didn't know that. you see they're rusty, they're steel. Gotcha, okay. Is steel beams, are those expensive compared to wood or about the same? They're a little bit higher, but I'm going to reuse all these that we that's what I figured I saw you doing yeah, it. Because it's steel, right? We are, yeah, yeah they're, I mean, they're still good. We're just taking all the screws. They're still good. <laughs> they are good. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> that's, that's cool. I'm glad you're going to be able to reuse them. We were actually talking about, uh, we don't know, like, what steel pricing is like. The, the only thing, and I, I questioned Joseph about this, whether a metal stud would have a ring to it behind, I guess you have drywall. You have drywall, ring. gypsum, and then... How uh, many layers? Just one layer? Or? There's going to be two, but the thing is, uh, I could give you specifics right now, but I have like something written out by an expert and very detailed that actually gives you all the different ratings and all the techniques with wood, aluminum, steel, everything. Yeah. And I can bring that in and we can take a look at well, that. You know, Joseph asked me which I was more comfortable working with. And I said, I don't care. I can do wood or steel. You know, steel in this length, those metal studs are probably better. Right. Because they, they are true. You know, a piece of wood will warp with you and stuff. Mm -hmm. Those things, are, every one of them are true. As long as we don't hear, like, why we need to do otherwise, we're going to go with staggered steel studs. Well, if you're going to put insulation in between them, yeah, maybe that'll dampen the ring yeah. and you might get some sound bouncing yeah. off the wall. Is it insulation and what's that uh, roll? Oh, the, the roll rock, rock wool. Rock yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's We're going to have that on the inside of the outside wall. Yeah. So we have as much space in between the walls for it to resonate a little bit and then it just kills it before it hits the uh, hallways. So there's no insulation in the there's interior probably, wall. There's probably going to be fiberglass. Okay. Like ro just rolls fiberglass or just bat. something equivalent to, what's the popular fiberglass? The, there's a number. The R9, there's R13 and R19. I think it's R13. R13 is for that size wall. It's like a three and five eight. I think that's about what we're going to do. Okay. The, the, with that stuff, it's just about mass, so it, if we can squeeze more in there, I think it might be better. But you don't feel the complete void between the two walls, do you? Um, I, I, I would I'll refer to that not uh, too our sure. document for that. This, this is what I'm 